Hello everyone, for Brick Sake here. Today we're going to be looking at another 10k LEGO idea submission, Viking Longboat by Jonas Cram. So this designer has had one other project that hasn't hit 10k, the Up House, which is quite a different style to this one, which I love to see. But let's have a look at the Viking Longboat. So this build has 11 Viking minifigures. So 10 rowers and one steerman. All the minifigures are great, and I think a lot of historic LEGO fans would buy this set just for the minifigures. So this build is 500 pieces, and that is a great piece count. Actually looking at this, I thought it was going to be more, so that's amazing. I think this sh ship would be great to display on a shelf, but it's also small enough that it could easily be played with. The fact that the mast is movable is amazing and a great addition to the build. And the fact that there is a place for all the Vikings to sit is great as well, so they can use a little oars. Look, will this be a set? If this wasn't such a huge wave, I'd say the set would have had a better chance. And the fact, again, that there is another similar project in a previous wave that we're waiting to find out about, the Roman warship in the third wave of 2020. I think depending what happens with that set will depend what happens with this set. Thankfully, they are different eras. So if the Roman warship isn't selected, I don't think that necessarily means automatically that the Viking longship won't be selected. It's a bit of a red flag, but it's not the same as like, say, two Hobbit sets or the two Among Us set. Fundamentally, they are still different errors. So fingers crossed for that one. If the Roman warship is selected, it, I don't think this one will be, unfortunately. If I had to pick between the Roman warship and the Viking longship, as much as I love Vikings, I think I'd have to pick the Roman warship just because of the stand that's been built for the ship for displaying it. I think that just puts it a notch above this one. Granted, LEGO could just add that to this design themselves if they wanted to pick it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe so you get updates on all the new videos. And let me know in the comments below which one you would prefer, the Roman warship or the Viking longship. And I'll catch you on the next one.